to the update. I'm Michelle Stevenson. Schools in Sydney's southeast will be closed tomorrow as the region prepares for yet another round of severe weather. Life threatening storms are forecast over the next 48 hours with the potential to deliver heavy rain on already saturated catchments. Sydney residents, meantime, are being warned the threat isn't over. That's despite flood levels not getting to predicted record highs. Now, the amount of water spilling from Warragamba Dam has been revised down, while Sydney is only expected to get 90 mil of rain. That's not the 200 originally forecast. But Windsor and low-lying areas along the Hawkesbury River aren't out of the woods just yet. Now, the first major Ukraine city has fallen to Russia. The coastal city of Kherson, which is home to almost 300,000 people, is now under complete control of Russian invaders. That's after an intense gun battle. It says the federal government asks social media giants to block the access to Russian state media in Australia. Communications Minister Paul Paul Fletcher has written to Facebook, Twitter, Google, TikTok, as well as Apple. WA has recorded close to 2,500 new local COVID cases and one death on the day that the border reopened. The state has been cut off from the world for more than 700 days, with arrivals required to be triple vaxxed. Now, it's as the opposition leader defends his decision to actually travel across the country while parts of his home state are underwater. Anthony Albanese is campaigning in WA, but says he's upholding a long-standing commitment. I want to represent the whole country. I make no apologies for keeping my commitment to the people of Western Australia. I would visit on day one. This has been planned for some time. And Australians are being urged to take proper precautions against the spread of a mosquito-borne virus. Japanese encephalitis, which can cause swelling of the brain, has been detected at pig farms across Victoria and New South Wales. Three Victorians are currently in hospital with it. To sport now and Brisbane Broncos halfback Adam Reynolds is in doubt for round one. Now that's after returning a positive result on a rapid antigen test. He is now in isolation awaiting the results of a PCR. And Sydney FC has been doing its best to prepare for this weekend's derby against the Wanderers while rainfall continues to fall over the city. To your entertainment news and Kanye is facing some backlash after releasing a disturbing video in which he buries Pete Davidson alive. Now many fans have taken to Twitter to call the rapper out over it. Meantime, Britney Spears has taken to Instagram to share a video of the lavish place that she's been staying with her fiancé. The singer was heard putting on a British accent while talking fans through it. And Rebel Wilson has revealed what her best present was. The Aussie actress, who recently turned 42, finally granted permanent US residency. And a sad one to end on. Neighbours will be no more. The show calling time on its 37-year run with production to end in June. And that's the latest for the Nova Podcast News team. We'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update.